Ginger's got a motion that I don't think I have down yet. Like sometimes she likes it, but then Ginger's got like this magic <laughs> kind of bouncing motion that she just seems to nail it every time. We usually start Felicity's bedtime routine two to three hours before we're gonna go to bed. That makes our nights later sometimes if she doesn't um, want to fall asleep. Are you fighting it? Do you not want to go to sleep? You want to keep mom in bed? I could have had something. I mean, who knows? Could have no, ate something. She doesn't seem upset. She just seems like it's time to explore the world. At this new boarding stage, it's always a guessing game to figure out why Felicity is crying. I never really know if she's hungry, tired, or if it's something I ate. The hardest thing to adjust to with having a baby is less sleep. It's just really hard to adjust to having your sleep broken up. You're used to sleeping eight hours through the night. I think you start to feel that pretty fast and you think my life is never gonna be the same. Your mom told me when she first came that once you hear her go, ah, then she's really out. And she, you can feel her whole body just relax. Sleep and I, through our years together, have maintained a very close bond. And so Felicity has sort of presented a barrier between myself and sleep. And there's tension there, and you can feel it right now. But I think we'll get back to a working relationship soon. But it's worth it, right? Oh, it's worth it. Felicity's worth all of it. <laughs>